Hello Paxon travelers, welcome to the new episode. My next adventure is Rwanda. I'm traveling tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. to Amsterdam first and then with KLM to Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm staying two nights uh, at the Milkulin Hotel, where I'm really excited because I worked in Berlin as an actor for the Hotel Rwanda movie, where I met the real Paul Uru Sessa Beginner, the manager of the real hotel, the Milkulin and met Don Cheadle there, so I'm super excited to go there. Staying there two nights and then I'm heading towards to uh, Muzanze, to Ruhangeri, to the border of uh, Congo, where the Volcano National Park is. So I'm doing some hikings there and very excited. Got my bags ready, my little panda bear, my luck bringer, who goes along everywhere. My bags are like 30 pounds, so I'm think ready to go. See you tomorrow for the flight. Morning, so I'm on the way to Rwanda. First stop Amsterdam and now check in. So, on board the first flight to Amsterdam. Hello, guys, I just arrived in Amsterdam. As you can see here, I'm I have four hours to kill, so I'm checking out the um, plaza shipping mall behind me which was quite nice actually from stores and various items which you can purchase for breakfast, dinner, lunch. Um, I, there was a grocery store called Alben Haynes or something um, which had really good deals like for coffee instead of paying four or five euros for a cappuccino you pay one or two euros and you get like decent microwave meals like as I did for breakfast a lovely Indonesian food deal for $4.99 so that's quite cool. So I have another three hours and see you on the flight to Kigali. Running now, transfer was like one and a half hour security and passport control, crazy. 20 minutes for my flight, gotta run. sweet living room my upgrade which was very sweet and my living room uh, sorry bedroom Rwanda baby, it's Rwanda. Good morning from Kigali. I'm at the Milkulin Hotel, the real hotel Rwanda. It's almost seven o'clock, so I'm gonna make it an early start to discover Kigali, having breakfast now. And uh, yes, to sum up yesterday, 
It was a lovely day. Yes, everything worked out fine, almost. Um, the K both KLM flights from Berlin to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Kigali w were amazing. The crews were just great. Um, the second flight, the, the crew went the extra mile and pampered us like crazy with uh, sweets, candy, wines. And um, yes, they were adorable, everyone. And um, yes, I met a very, uh, did a lovely travel encounter. My seat neighbor was a Rwandan businessman working something healthcare in London. And we almost talked seven hours f for the entire flight. <laughs> was fun. Uh, we had some drinks. And um, yes, immigration in Rwanda was very easy. Five, six custom agents. You paid the visa fee. Um, very small airport. Very, uh, very easy going. And you paid the $50 single entry fee with a MasterCard, Visa card, or by Euro, or by US dollars, so no problem. And baggage uh, reclaim worked fine, went quite fast. Unfortunately, my pickup, which I uh, booked with Kigali shuttle, was not on time, so I had to wait another additional 30 minutes, which was a bit of a pain when you happen to have a 20-hour uh, travel, but whatever. They were apologized many times, and yeah. So, um, yes. As I, my target was to also stay at the Mirkulin Hotel, at the hotel, real Hotel Rwanda, where the Paul Urusesa Begina um, saved the 1,260 Tutsi during the genocide inside the hotel uh, compound. Um, I happened to met him at the premiere in Berlin and worked, was involved in the movie, not in the movie itself, but in the background. So, um, yes, they were very sweet here. I didn't ask for an upgrade, but they gave me one upgrade um, because of this movie. Uh, I have a junior suite here. I'm watching some Rwandan telenovela, something about a drag queen in a jail or something. It's quite funny. Um, you need to know French, by the way. <laughs> Raconte-moi une histoire et t'es une fois. Oh, bah, raconte. Tu vas me dire que t'as pas d'histoire à raconter Si, mais. Ah. Donc raconte ce qui te passe par la tête. <rire> and watch some run and breakfast TV. And uh, yeah, they do sport in the morning. They show sport program. We show political news and paparazzi and advice for your household and animals and stuff. They do sport and very strict. Hi guys, just walking to the hairdresser to get my hair cut looks like really awful for my appointments to get my hair cut looks like really awful for my appointment and yeah afterwards I'm gonna go to the Kigali genocide memorial and then probably for a small lunch and then to the Sunday park at the art center in Inamenema or something let's see The wall of the names who have been murdered. And here are the mass graves of 250,000 corpses. So we just finished the Kigali Genocide Museum. Um, photographs were not allowed out of respect for the for the dead. And I met the nice Warren here, coming from Zambia, actually living in South Africa. And he got the friends and just started to make a decided to make a day tour in Kigali together. And with our nice driver here. <laughs> and enjoying a wonderful one food here, barbecue, um, at the Sundowner. Really recommendable. We finished it, but um, come here. <laughs> yeah, it's a completely finished. <laughs> I'm 
Bon appétit. Check this out. The same speed, the blitzer, the same one we have in Germany. Yes. They all follow the rules here. Here we see the famous convention center of Kigali next to the red and blue where all the business is happening and somebody's watching us from the bike okay in the Nema Art Center now okay let's check out this wonderful abstract gorilla made out of computer chips it's amazing the Beatles are also represented here all you need is love that's a true message and the cafe is here at the <laughs> shake it the garden of recycling so we found the Rwanda designer tayo for clothing it's like the Beverly Hills of Kigali with gated communities and golf club and and some tourists coming up I think let's head in so it's evening time I'm meeting my friend for some for the steakhouse and we are checking out the Inca Steakhouse which is very popular in Kigali where everybody's heading for it's super crowded but they just got us a table Bitte, Paxton travelers, this is Rwandan for hello, how are you? Or Jumbo in Swahili. Um, I'm still at the Mirkulin Hotel, taking a little break after the exploring um, Kigali for about 12 14 hours yesterday and having some official meetings today, which is not part of the block. Um, yeah, getting a one hour break and then I'm gonna be picked up for my transfer to Ruhanjeri next to the Volcano National Park in the Western Province. Uh, bordering the Uganda and the Congo. arrived in Ruhangiri and at the Isanga Paradise Resort beautiful gardens here this is my room called Margaret and yeah they have a beautiful gardening here with like really nice flowers and you know overview of the five volcanoes which I'm gonna show you later and this is my little room just being a little quiet because of my neighbors <coughs> I think they're sleeping on the balcony so see this lodge, it's a bit basic but very cute. And yeah, a little tropical fruit thingy here. And yeah, out view. So welcome to the Isenga Paradise Resort. Super beautiful surrounding, just like paradise, like plants from all over the globe. They're amazing and super nice staff. And we're gonna go for some live music 
to the city center with the owners now and some other friends and let's see how that it's like. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds, picked by my doorstep, singing sweet songs. Oh, melodies pure and true. Saying, this is my message to you. We were just invited spontaneously to the university in Ruhanjeri to some dance rehearsals. Check it out. Morning, so we are heading for the Volcano National Park to the Down and Fossey track and let's see how it goes. break on 2700 meters on the way to Diane Fossey. Oh. So, can you see me? 
Hi, how are you? Sweaty? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go down to 3200. Okay. We saw the first gorilla poo poo here. It's a bit dried out, but let's see. <laughs> so we are here at the crossing point to Bisoke and the Dino Fossi tour on almost 3000 meters. As you can see. She's still behind. He's a gigantic earthworm. You can see my hand. It's really big. As I told you in the beginning, uh, the part of that we had down that was a nocturne and bamboo. Yeah. The third year is uh, I came from. So we are in the muddy part of the trek. Almost reached the Dinophosis research camp. And how are you guys feeling? Yeah, feeling good? Really good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Super. Now five minutes to go to the Dino Fossil Research Camp. Here's a guest room from a former home. And this oven is the left original oven. And here's the graveyard of Dino Fossi and her gorillas and her favorite gorilla, Digit. Beautiful surrounding. It's like paradise. And her favorite gorilla, Digit. What does this big time to work? Yes. So we're taking the first break uh, after about three hours climbing, three and a half hours. Um, lovely group, um, very nice porters and uh, really nice military guys. Um, we're taking now the first real um, break, some snacks, and here's a little cabinet to chill. And we're about 300 meters to the Congo border, despite the soldiers are with us. Um, yeah, and the scenery is just awesome. <laughs> So this is real jungle trekking. Look at my shoes. <laughs> oh my god. Super cute. Here's a tiny baby chameleon. See? Hello. Do you want to stress you two out? Start over again. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. So good morning. It's the fifth day in Rwanda. I'm on the way to Lake Kivu. Um, yes, with some friends I met here at the lodge, and we're very excited to make a boat trip in. Lake Kivu and possibly go to for a few hours to Goma, Congo. I don't know if it works out at the border, but let's see. So we are closing to the border of the DR Congo and we are in the city of Gizenyo on the Rwandan side and on the other side is Goma next to the Lake Kivu and there's the big volcano with the name Near Gongo. Yes. Okay, which is at the horizon there. So we are directly. Yeah, it is in Congo. Oh my god, yeah, there's no. Okay, we are directly at the border of Congo. 50 meters behind us, there's the Congo, but we are not going to cross. Front. In front, uh, but, but we are not going to cross. Okay. So we we're just right at the border to Congo, but we're going to double check with the immigration officers and maybe I'm taking a motorbike getting into Congo. But my friends will stay on this side, it's a bit safer. And yeah, let's see if I do that, if I'm being crazy, or if I can re enter Rwanda without the extra visa. Let's see. Um, and here we just arrived at the Tam Tam beach with a beer, and here's the lake. 
and some cool restaurants, music. So we are arrived at the Lake Kivu and doing a boat trip soon, but getting our lunch now. And the brochette is like a grilled dish here. You can get it with beef or chicken or fish or, yeah. And some cool live music, quite loud, but good vibes. And here's for gas, like a methane production thing in the ocean, in that lake here in the center. On the other side is Congo. So we just hired a fisherman from Lake Kivu to make a round camera and go to the ocean side of Goma. And yeah, this is our guy here. Hi. Hi. I'm Captain Emmanuel. Captain? Yeah, Emmanuel. Yeah. Ah, Emmanuel. Nice to meet you. Here with our friend here in Gabo. We are going to Goma. Cool, cool. To the Congo side of the ocean. So how do you feel? Really good, very good, very good. Really good. We like Kivu. It's really cool, huh? There's a little bit water inside our boat. I don't know where it's coming from, but we have life jackets. This is the Serena Hotel on the Rwanda side in Kizeni. And it's supposed to be super luxurious with the $200 a night. Now this is the Congo coastline and you can see the volcano on the Congo side. from the beer Amstel and Heineken from Belgium and the Netherlands which have been produced here and at the Lake Kivu okay. here's the hot springs right yes. so I'm in a small hut getting changed for the hot tub so we were just inside the tub and it was really hot this water is like 65 degrees and this is about let's say 45 we felt like a grilled chicken and yeah but it's fun it's a fun place yeah. we are done with the hot springs now we gotta check if the car is working again something is wrong with the gear keep fingers crossed please Gavo we made it we made it yeah he made a swim and had some swimming lessons right sorry you had some swimming lessons right man yes 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 how, yes. how did you do sorry how did you do they did Good, good, good. Yes. So we check the car now, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Check the car. But hope, hope so well, that let's pray, let's pray, right? We'll call 911. Our car is really damaged, so we have to figure out how to get away from Kizenia back to Rohanjeri. And he's taking care of it, calling everybody, some technicians. But we're in a good mood. We just got stuck at the Kibu Lake at the hot springs. Something wrong with the gear. Um, Gav was taking care of it and the nice guys are helping us here. And yes, here's some fresh fish we might bring for some friends in Rangeri. And here's the nice scenery of beautiful Lake Kivu. So our gear is still broken. <laughs> driving in Rwanda because we had to like push the car and the gear and speed up and then Ngavo had to jump in so I had to take over now and it's fun <laughs> it's a bit slippery uh, but I think I can handle it so, 
almost leaving Rangeri to Kigali, but the dear manager of the hotel has her diploma lecture at the university, the presentation of her product. We're really excited. Yes, you will rock it. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's preparing for the lecture. So he's helping with the technology. And send data to Arduino bot. Uh, and later Arduino bot send data to the server motor so the server motor can turn and then flush the toilet. And that one. She made it 17.9 percent of out of 20. So it's out of 20. Like this life Congrats. Is like back and mm -hmm. Celebration. Let's see. Some video. So we're on the way back from Rwanda to Kigali. So, reach Kigali. Traffic is getting more intense. Boda boda. Yeah. You see? Yes, uh, so crazy. Everyone who is coming from other provinces to Kigali yes. has to pass here. That is why you see many people. <laughs> what up, what up? So, my God. Silverback Mall grocery store, the biggest one. Here you can see the gorilla, the King Kong, and the convention center in the back. The, with the one in flag. So, just arrived at Kigali, checked in at the Phoenix Apartment Hotel by Link. And yes, super friendly staff at the entrance, Rwandan and Chinese. I think it's half Chinese owned. Super friendly manager guy. So it's like a furnished apartment with like a microwave. So I think you can rent them on a monthly term as well. My last dinner in Kigali. Brochette with fried banana and piri piri hot sauce. And yes, at the Sandana bar at close to the airport at the Phoenix Apartment Link Hotel. Good morning from my last day in Rwanda. I'm at the Phoenix Airport Link Hotel. I'm having a nice Chinese breakfast. I love Asian food. And I have a day to kill before my flight is in the late evening by 8.30. Just arrived at the airport. Now it's time to say goodbye to Rwanda. I'm very sad to leave. Now I'm flying with KLM to Entebbe, Uganda. First stop over and then to Amsterdam and then Furthermore, so just pass, pass, custom control and the passport control, immigration, and this my flight is a little bit delayed by 20 minutes to first to Entebbe, Uganda, and then to Amsterdam. So, here's an Ebola information thing, which I think is very good, progressive, with all the information regarding sanitizing your hands. And so, I'm at the airport. Um, beautiful airport, they're very nice to have the immigration, um, customs and super helpful, very modern, very chic, um, tobacco is quite cheap here, alcohol is very overpriced and perfumes and you get really nice uh, art goods here. The crazy thing is for, for smokers, if you're a smoker like me, there's a smoking room available next to the lounge but you have to pay $10 for entrance fee. And you can be here 15 minutes. I mean, you can renegotiate. I can be here one hour as a frequent flyer, but it's kind of funny. Never experienced it in 70 countries. But I mean, it's tax income, so give it a go. Oh, I'm getting aboard now in Kigali. Bye bye, Rwanda. It's a lovely day. So I'm on board KLM and about to fly to Entebbe first and then to Amsterdam. Leaving Rwanda now, very sad. It's one of the best countries I've ever been to. I love it, just love it. Okay. The in-flight entertainment program, like Jurassic World, Uncharted Elvis, Top Gun. Place to 
glass over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Amsterdam airport and waiting for my connection. 